but yeah, also I wanted to talk about the pot here. Okay, yes, let's hear about the pot there in in Colorado. It's been legal, I think, well, recreationally since was it 2012 or 2014. Uh-huh. Um, and you were mentioning that, you know, you mentioned the reefer madness and how there's studies that some marijuana users have become angrier, I guess. Yeah, I've there's a journalist named Alex Berenson who may be kind of hit and miss, maybe not a Christian, probably not. But he uh, has covered this story after a conversation with his wife, who's like a psychiatrist or psychologist or something. But this is like a real thing among, and Base America First gave some information about it. Yeah, and I, I, I'm a pothead myself. I, I, you know, I, I want to get away from it, but I think they are putting some sort of uh, addictive stuff in it these uh-huh. days that make it harder to quit because I, I used to smoke cigarettes and and that was easier to quit than the marijuana was wow and, and the and the line is that marijuana is not addictive is what people claim right but yeah I've, it's the exact opposite of what most people tell you yeah huh and when I when I first moved here I was I was too young to buy it in the stores so uh-huh. you could go to a a medical marijuana doctor. Oh boy! Yeah, and you, you tell him you got back aches or a headache, and he goes, "Okay, uh, here's your card. Pay me seventy bucks, and yeah, and you're you're good to go buy it anywhere in the in the state." But one of the doctors once warned me about how people that get into smoking weed at a young age. Have been coming back with schizophrenia. Yeah, and and people they, start uh, relatively young. People are doing it in high school, junior high, and younger sometimes. Well, yeah, that's the issue here now because it's been legal. It's yeah. all throughout the high schools now. It's a it's a mess. And Joe but, Rogan, uh, Joe Rogan, my competitor, another podcast host. He's a liberal, but he's nice. Uh, he said, and he promotes it like he's for it. He does it on on air, I think. Don't do that, kids. Mm-hmm. But he, he says that people shouldn't be... Well, he says that your brain is not fully developed until you're 25. So people shouldn't be getting into it until they're 25. You shouldn't be getting to, into it at all, really. But uh, but that's not how it works. Because it seems like younger and younger people, like you said, even the good kids are into drugs, seemingly, nowadays. Yeah, I mean, my, my, you know, I was a, a somewhat of a good kid in high school, and my good friends all smoked weed. And wow, you, my this is is this is this Wisconsin really, or Colorado or where? I, I was I was in Wisconsin until I was nineteen. Okay, um, that's a whole other story. I actually huh. got in trouble with marijuana and then moved to Colorado. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't move to Colorado <laughs> to go to college or something. You went. No. You no. you escaped. <laughs> yeah, I was on probation, and they were like, you know, if you get caught with it again, you're probably going to go to jail. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move. <laughs> going to go where it's legal. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Luckily, maybe that was smart. I guess I'm not sure. I think in the long run, it was like a, a blessing in disguise. Okay. Um, you have that it, pot well, vocal fry, a blessing in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the story gets even deeper because my friend, my friends who were in the pot as well when we were growing up, one of them struggled, is, is still struggling, big big time. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Wow! And he he seemed like he was gonna like. Yeah, Growing up with him, he always seemed like he was going to be a successful guy, you know? Yeah. But something got to him. He Actually, he moved to Colorado before I did, and this is, I think, when he was here is when whatever happened to him happened to him because he went from, you know, being there to, like, not being there, if you know what I'm trying to say. Say that again? Repeat that? 
he, he moved to Colorado uh-huh. uh, and, you know, he was smoking weed and I'm sure he got into other things. Yeah. But within the one year that he was in Colorado, something, something happened to him. He went from, you know, like being there, being my friend to, to being like, um, not there like a, a vegetable almost oh wow what a shame that's a yeah, sad story and then, yeah and he he got violent recently so i think there is some truth to those studies about people getting on marijuana and becoming violent yeah getting schizophrenia and plus like the family situation is so messed up and the culture itself is so corrupt. Like, all of these things are a, a bad mix of things for human beings' well-being. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's like all degenerate. And yep. you see it big time in Boulder, you know? It looks so beautiful. The weather is pretty nice year-round. Yeah. But for some reason... It's like everyone is angry here. Oh, it's wow. Like, why? You all make good money. Uh-huh. <laughs> you live in one of the nicest cities in the world, but you're all like, you know, I think it's like a, a spoiled thing, and you yeah, know, maybe they're greedy. True. Yeah. They're... But I, I think the marijuana has something to do with it. I really think it does. I think it's certainly not helping. It's adding to their adding to their symptoms with the and not addressing the root problem for sure. That's interesting, man. It reminds me of uh I don't know if I have a point to saying this, but I was listening to Nick Stream on Saturday, I guess it was, or something like that. Nick Nick hosted his show on Saturday again, I think. And mm-hmm. he was talking to this depressed 14-year-old guy who, I don't know if he was on any type of drugs, but, um, but people are, like you said, spoiled, and so they can afford to have all these extra problems rather than just functioning and working and living like human beings were built, created, designed to live and work and function, you know, like have have families if they have if it's in them to have families work be outside stay inside get rest at the right time and pray but we've fallen so far away from god and nature and our natural right way of being that people are a mess now what a shame yeah it's like they they they're looking for something to be angry at (laughs) <laughs> yeah. All yeah. the time. I know. People All are, the time. I, I remember in one of my recent Substack posts, thehakereport.substack.com, I talked about how I figured out ways to be stressed as a kid. People are like, oh, is this, kids have no stress. Yeah, they do. They, ha- they do have stress because we have wants and desires, and we're fed desires and get into desires that cause misery when you don't get what you want and even when you get what you want it's not satisfying so you have you figure out ways to be angry and miserable no matter what your situation is even if you have a hard life or an easy life <laughs> especially if you're a, in a messed up fallen state like most of us are nowadays that's interesting man boulder colorado and colorado has a radical homosexual uh governor who mm-hmm. has a so-called husband yeah, on the Colorado government website, you can read about the state's first gentleman. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, it makes me want to spit, Hake. <laughs> Same. How old are you now, if you don't mind my asking, Brett? I am 27. 27. Okay. Yep. Well, well, I wish you well, and a uh, great call. Talk, call me again sometime. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I definitely will. Uh, you have a good day. Okay, you too. Adios. Adios, America. No, we have hope. Uh, In the few, the remnant. Uh, God is looking for the few. Isn't that right? What a great call. That was Brett from Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, what a great name. So manly, so tough. Uh, 